Ready? No, I'm not ready. Why? Okay. Ready now? Mm -hmm. You just let me know. Abalan, ina kaim kon. Injury kon. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this the mm -hmm. entire video. Yeah. It's fine. What's up Kavari crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another cooking with mama. You guys loved her previous video. They really enjoyed yeah, that. I, I heard they love to cook with mama Kavari. I want to show them how we cook Zereshk Pulu. This is one of my favorite Persian yeah. meals by the way. mean the wild berry is kind of Barberries. Berry. Yeah. This is what it looks like. And more is chicken. chicken. That's mean Zeresh polo, polo, which means wild barberry like rice yeah. with chicken. Ch Guys, these videos are actually pretty cool because like throughout my life I've just been eating them. I don't know how you make it, so now I can like actually see how you make it. Shame on you! Shame on you, mommy. I'm gonna show onion. you guys because she's already prepped. We have chopped onions, garlic, minced, minced, minced garlic, garlic, and, and we're gonna be using tomato, tomato paste. paste. This hunt. Yep. Yeah. Get the hunts. Yeah. And then we have this is uh you know everybody knows this. Bay leaf. Bay leaves. Mm-hmm. We have the wild barberries. Yeah. This you can usually get from like uh, a Persian Middle store, Eastern, a Middle Eastern store. Most, mostly Persian store. It's called Zereshk. Zereshk. Yeah. And then this is everybody know this care curry, curry curry powder. Yeah, curry this powder. is like the, the most Middle Eastern curry mm -hmm. powder. Yeah. I remember this from when I was a kid, like yeah, this I, green I, box. I, I, like, I like this brand. And this one, the most expensive spice. Mm -hmm. This is uh, called the uh, zaffron. Mm -hmm. Smell very nice. It smells so good. Everybody smell smell. Mm -hmm. Guys, this little tiny amount of saffron is like what, like fifty bucks or something? Uh, that's thirty. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah, this is expensive. So that's saffron. Yeah. So this is all for the chicken, right? Yeah, this is for chicken. Only this for the rice. Okay. And, and we have the chicken. We have to do whole chicken. But since you, everybody like the breast, we did the breast only. Okay. I don't like breast. I know. I like chicken with bones too. Comment below if you like the chicken with bones but I or you, you no man. I like bone, but everybody else likes no bones in their chicken, so oh, okay. we I can like just make it like bones. that. So before we get started on the chicken, we are boiling some water for the rice, yeah. and the rice right here is soaking is in some the water. Salty water. This is salty water. How, how long have you um, uh, been this soaking this? Three hours, maybe. The longer oh. you soak it, the better it's gonna result. like result. Good result. I know, maybe. but what kind of a result does it get? Maybe like fluffier? Because I remember. Okay, a little secret for our restaurant: we would soak it overnight. Mm -hmm. We would soak the rice yeah. overnight. Okay. Little secret, guys. So here we have some chicken breasts. I hate works with no gloves mm -hmm. because the quarantine. What's called the quarantine? Quarantine, no gloves. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay. She really hates working with no gloves, yeah. but Kavari crew knows that because in my last video They're like what mama with yeah. no gloves. Stop. It's okay. They know they know the real you mama. Yeah I Oh, we put water in it. No, this I want to boil it. Just one boil it boil it and okay. throw the water Wait, why don't we cut up the bay leaf like no, small? No, 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 take it off. Oh Okay, okay this one. I'm so confused. So we're no, boiling I, it because we're eating. Yes first boil uh -huh. boiling with and then the, the oven and we wash it. Uh huh. Smell the chicken. This chicken has a smell. I don't know oh. how to call it. what you call it. Yeah, I know. I get what you mean. We are boiling it to like get the scent out. Boiling. Got it. So we got boiling water, boiling chicken, and the rice that's soaking. How long do you boil it for? When it's boiling, we take it. Always when you cook rice, this is another secret. Okay. Shh. Yeah. Wait. You have to whisper. It's a yeah. secret. We have to put some lemon. Lemon. Yeah. Lemon, lemon guys. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. When you're boiling the water. Ooh, we're getting fresh lemon, huh? I wash the lemon with the soap now. <laughs> Guys, my mom is so paranoid about this whole corona and, and quarantine situation that she washes the lemon with soap and water. Yeah, hot water. I mean, we want to kill the, I the virus. I understand. The virus. I don't even blame you, mama. Wash everything. Mm -hmm. Wash me for all I care. So she's cutting the lemon in half. And squeeze it in the water. And what does this do, mom? What does the lemon do for the um, for the it rice? Makes it fluffy. Makes the rice fluffier fluffy and long, long. Mm. Okay. I always wondered why our rice, like at the restaurant and stuff, it was fluffier, it was longer. I'm like, I never got it anywhere else yeah. like this. But everybody the secret. Now we know all the secrets. Now we're draining the rice. 
This is the salt water with the rice that we had. Oh. That's why I boiled the chicken first. See this? I don't like this stuff. What? Oh. Yeah, I have to take it out now. So. So the purpose of boiling the chicken was not to cook it. It was just to get the smell out, like that chicken smell. So we just boil it literally like just a tad, just a hint. And then we're gonna recook it with spices and oil and all of that. Then you wash it? Mm -hmm. I don't like Interesting. this. Interesting. I don't like this, the white one. The white on stuff it. on yeah. it? Rice is boiling. Do we um, strain this too? When you cook the rice like this, you need a lot of salt. Oh, because, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Because you drain it. Oh, okay, All got it. Will go away. So yeah. it's just used for flavor. So guys, don't freak out. This is not going to be salty because we're going to drain all the water. So it's really just used to boil the water and to give it like just a bit of flavor. Uh, last time I see people say it, um, when you drain the, the hot water in the sea, you will be hunted. Nobody, really? Nobody hunted me. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. Long and oh, white. wow. Bomb. What kind of rice is this? Basmati? basmati rice. Got it. So it's basmati rice. Wait, if you're not supposed to drain the rice in the sink, where do you drain it? Like, where? Be careful. Oh my god, your towels are like Cosmo and Wanda. It's a show on Nickelodeon. So guys, the rice is not cooked either right now. So we boil it and then we recook it, just like the chicken. Now, what to do with that? Now for the chicken? Mm -hmm. So we put some oil in here. Isn't Zeresh Polo made in the oven, Mama? Yeah, I can make it in the oven, but oh. easy, uh, like this is easier. Got it. So pretty much you can make the chicken like this over stovetop you or the do, oven. Yeah, you can do this stuff. And it's, when you put the steam on the fire, put it in the oven, but take mm -hmm. time. Oh, it because, takes more time. Yeah. And I feel like in the oven, it makes more sense if you're using like a whole chicken with the bone, with the everything, you know? So we're just gonna cook these onions until they're golden brown. For the tahdik, you can use margarine or butter or ghee or not oil. I don't like the oil. Okay. Ghee. So this is ghee? Yeah. For the tahdik, and if you guys didn't know what tahdik is, I showed you guys in my previous video. That literally means the bottom of the pan. So you put pita bread or potato or something to be a barrier between the pot and the rice so the rice doesn't burn. For this one, we're gonna use pita bread because in our previous one, we used potatoes. We're gonna be using ghee, but if you don't have ghee, butter is fine. Just stay away from oil because, I don't know, it just doesn't taste as good if you use oil. So that's legit pita bread. pita bread. We call this lavash. Lavash bread? That's deep frying, mom. Mm. Like the smell? Smells like this. Mm -hmm. You guys have one of those circular pita breads. You could just use that. And we put the boiled rice over top of it. After this, you put holes in it. Oh, you put holes in the rice? Yeah, because the, when the steam comes. Oh. Interesting. There we go. So pretty much we're getting the both sides with the flavor, flipping it. What are you doing now, Mom? You take them off, you put the, what's called? What? The paste. Oh, put the paste and everything in there too? Yeah. Got it. Cook the paste with the onion. Now we're just adding the Hunt's tomato paste. This is the curry powder. Mm -hmm. I think this is onion. So if we were to make this in the oven, you would prep everything with the tomato paste and the onion. Basically everything we're showing you guys with the chicken and then that's when you would pop it in the oven and let it cook. But since we're making it over stove top, we're taking it step by step. Okay. 
But you put salt, the chicken takes more time to cook. Oh. So we're gonna put salt after. We're gonna take boiling water, we're gonna put it on this. Now you put the lid on it. The lid? Mm hmm When it start boiling, take the fire Interesting. down. How long will we let it cook? Half hour, maybe. Half hour? 45 minutes. I don't want the chicken is tender is ready. Mm -hmm. Now that the rice has simmered a bit, as you guys can see, all the water is collecting at the top. So what you do is take a paper towel just like this, or sometimes you will just take an actual towel, but make sure it's clean. And you just put paper towel over top. That's just so the paper towel collects the water and it doesn't just go back in the rice because then you'll have soggy rice. The chicken is now to a boil. So we're gonna be adding some lime juice there. Two tablespoons. I think with Persian cooking, since we eat rice with every meal, we like our like chicken or whatever, like more on the juicy side, so we could put it over top of rice. So the rice is the saffron. That's the saffron liquid. Mm -hmm. We didn't show them how we make that. It's mm -hmm. basically just boiled water in the yeah. saffron, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we just put it in there just to steam up a little bit and catch the flavor. Saffron water. You guys see that little red stuff right there? That's the saffron. The ones that look like, um, like almost like grains of rice. We got the food still cooking in the back. I'm gonna get started on the salad. The salad is not Persian or anything. It's just something we have with food. I'll set you guys down real quick. Be careful, don't cut yourself. I'm gonna cut myself. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. My head is half cut off, but hey, I mean, I can't really do anything about it. You guys know what my forehead looks like. You know? Now we want to do the zarish. That's ghee. Mm -hmm. So I put like a tablespoon of ghee in there. You can use butter because. Butter? Mm -hmm. But no oil. You said no oil, right? Mm -hmm. So we wash the zarish, so it might. We have to wash back. it. Wash it good because mm -hmm. it has some and sand, sand in something in it. I don't know. Are you gonna make it with sugar or no? People put sugar, but I don't put sugar. Mm -hmm. Some people, if they like the berries just a little bit sweeter, they add like one teaspoon of sugar just to give it a little sweet kick. But this the taste the of them is actually a little bit on the sour side. This, mm -hmm. if you put it in the high uh, fire, will burn. Uh, just, just, just a bit. Yeah, just cut and take it. Because mm -hmm. when it burns, guys, it burns. becomes like almost like plastic. Like it, mm -hmm. it you can't even chew it. So like now, literally just a tad to warm it up. Then we put the little bit rice on it and saffron. So we're just gonna take a little bit of rice. I'm sorry if my camera's steaming, you guys. Mm -hmm. Low heat, right? Very low heat. Mix it all up. And this is pretty much gonna be the topping for our white rice. Nice. Looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. So we just took the rice out of the pot. The tadik is still left in there. We're gonna take it out in just a second. And now I wanna show you guys how we make the saffron rice. rice. Just put the saffron on the rice. It looks just like that, but this has zarish over top of it too. One dessert that we have it is with saffron in Iran. It's called shulazard, and it smells shulazard just like this. It's and, uh, so good. We should make shulazard one day. And ice cream. Oh yeah, the saffron ice cream. Now for the tadik. Oh yeah, that's a really good tadik. That looks bomb. A little bit too much oil, but it's okay. We'll just pat it. Since there's so much oil, we're just patting it a little bit so it's not as oily. But sometimes when you don't put enough oil, the mm -hmm. rice burns and it becomes like that not black tasty. texture and it's not as tasty. So just to be on the safe side, it's better to put more butter. <laughs> and here is our chicken. We're just plating it. And then we're also gonna take the sauce and put it on the side just for if somebody wants more or less. You can control that. 
to pour it over top a little bit. Just a little bit. Now we're just putting it in a little serving cup, just on the side. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> my camera got steamed. Now on to some dessert. We have graters. Same. Only ice cream grater. Ice. Same for real. I really don't like any other ice cream besides graters. Mm -hmm. And we have these fancy little cups. I don't know. I learned something new today. What did you learn? If you put in hot water, it'll actually come out as like a nice scoop. Put hot water on those spoons? <laughs> Nas over here trying to show off her skills, <laughs> but it ain't working. We have to put the water here. Guys, look at that big old chocolate chip. Oh. Yeah. I called this one. This one's mine. Hey, Bon's crying. What I see. Me and my girls done pulled up. You know what we gon' do. I took two shots of the liquor. One more round just on you. 